nice there. I just, um, do you mind if you do this? I can't smell something. I don't know. Is that fine? I don't know. That smells weird. Ask your mum. <laughs> that smells weird to me. The milk is fine. Yeah, yeah. If we use it, if it also start clumping up, so. I don't know. A little bit more, man. Yeah. Go on. Go on. Okay. Do you want to put some of Oh, man. Hold on. My headphones are dying. Do you want any in your jug or no? Yeah. Just go, 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 okay. I just need some, a spoon now. Sure. Alright. Yo, can you hear me? Hello. I'm hoping you can hear me. It should be loud and clear. Alright, so... It looks like it's going to be a v video on demand. It's not a live presentation. So let's just see if we can hear this. Donkey Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys. It's up to Mario. All right, that sounds good. All right. My phone has best hardware. Better hardware <laughs> hey, thanks. All right, so uh, hopefully we should be getting this soon. How's it going, folks? Uh... Anyone hear me? You must hear me. I think chat died. Ah, there we go. Gaming and movies, I am good. Just came off like a eight. Well, I've been on a training course for Google Analytics for the best part of four hours. Four hours is is being painful. Ugh. So a nice hour break for my lunch to watch Nintendo Direct and then back to uh back to work. So this will be a strict one hour stream. I do need to finish around uh, 245, 250 on the dot today. But the Nintendo Direct is only 25 minutes. So, are we going to see Mario announced for Xbox? Metroid for Xbox? <laughs> what if Nintendo announces that Microsoft is buying them in the presentation? Let's not be silly now. That's that's like a radical change for Nintendo. Now 
That's the other thing, right? I think if Hi-Fi Rush was released as a physical on Xbox, more people would have bought it. I genuinely believe that. If Hi-Fi Rush was sold as a physical game, more people would have bought it on Xbox. Just for collection purposes. Because I'm now buying like Switch games for collection purposes that you can't buy anywhere else. Like all the old Final Fantasies, 1, 2, 12. I've almost got all of them now on the Switch. As physical, because this, you know, I'm good. The Switch is not too expensive, and I can always pick another one up in a year or so if the other, if the Switch Two isn't backwards compatible, and just leave it there. So any time I want to go and play those games, I've got one to twelve sitting right there, ready for me to go. Did they? Uh, do we have time to check it out? Uh, no, we don't. This should have dropped now. The Nintendo Direct is supposed to drop here, right? On their Nintendo on their Nintendo website. It said two o'clock. But I'll definitely uh, check out the fourteen video after. If someone wants to send it to me via Twitter, that will save me time. Where's the presentation? Chat, where is it? Where's the direct? Did we get bamboozled? Still two minutes? Don't be... My PC is saying 1401. Are you saying that my clock on my PC is wrong? It says 1402 already. Are you saying it's wrong? I mean, it could be. I don't know why the clock on my PC is wrong. It's always like two minutes forward. Okay, it's now synced. It's one fifty nine. It's two o'clock. Come on, Nintendo. Do it. All right, let's look elsewhere. I mean, I was at the this website, and it says the Nintendo Switch game's coming. See more on our videos. So you go over here, and it's supposed to be here, unless it's live. No, that was three months ago. Is it live? There we go. There we go. Peggy, eighteen. All right. All right, all right, boys. All right, all right, boys. All right, boys. We're about to see Hi-Fi Rush. Let's go. Are we ready? Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching in the first half of 2024 <laughs> from our publishing and development partners. Okay, let's get into some headlines. Why am I hearing this? Strive to survive. Grounded! Grounded! ...to embark on an enormous adventure of pint-sized proportions. After being shrunken down at the hands of an evil corporation, I told you. you must explore a vast, immersive world right in your own backyard. Assemble your crew and work together in online cross-platform co-op with up to three friends or take on the adventure solo. 
Gather resources to build your base and craft weapons, armor, and tools to improve your chances of survival. Use the tools you craft to forage plant life, but watch out, you aren't alone out there. Work your way through the campaign to uncover the mysteries of the backyard, or build, share, and play your own creations in Playgrounds mode. Do you have what it takes to make it big in this minuscule world and fend off its creepy, crawly inhabitants? Go big or never go home when Grounded launches on Nintendo Switch April 16th. Oh, damn. Oh, that's quick. A tale of destruction and renewal unfolds in this return to the Ender Lily's world. This once flourishing country sits atop a wealth of buried magic Homunculi, artificial life forms created as the country flourished, is the sound were good, meant folks? to bring about a brighter future. I like the artwork for this. I love the art direction. As Lilac, you'll reluctantly bond with and journey alongside a homunculus who played a pivotal role in the country's demise. When the magic buried beneath the surface became corrupted, the citizens fled upward to escape its reach. <laughs> Blunted. But those who lacked power and wealth remained abandoned below. Along your journey, you'll battle rampaging homunculi. What if the games are only Upon going to Nintendo? Them, the creations will join you on your only adventure. Only Nintendo. Becoming your companions and lending their aid. What awaits Lilac and the homunculi at the end of their journey? Find out when Ender Magnolia Bloom in the Mist launches on Nintendo Switch this year. I mean, I don't think anyone would care if it was going to Nintendo only, would they? It's your adventure, your way, in these Nintendo Switch games. Explore an interconnected world of puzzles in this charming adventure. Slide across rows and columns on a sprawling gameplay grid where everything moves when you move. Oh God. Solve puzzles by venturing out into the wilderness, Who thought this helping was a good out idea? the townsfolk, and taking down monsters in handcrafted dungeons. What awaits you on this curious journey of self discovery? The world is yours to solve in A Ranger, a role puzzling adventure, sliding onto Nintendo Switch this summer. This is making my eyes go funny. Guide Elaine, a young prince on a journey to liberate five nations from the mighty empire's dominion. Customize your troops, form your strategy, then unleash your there army There is nothing the definite about it, last forces. There was never any your announcement. Your real-time strategy planning will turn the tide of war. Unless you're During saying Hiroki's statements you are... To recruit they're new definitely allies, going to Xbox. Or be faced with difficult decisions. Huh? 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 Atlas and Vanilla I already proved in my video Overlord. that Engadget Nintendo lied. Switch March 8th. A demo will be available today on Nintendo eShop. I think I'm shouting. Originally it's too released loud, on Nintendo 3DS, the first Monster Hunter Stories game returns. Now fully voiced and in HD. As a writer, You'll be friend and fight alongside uh, the monsters. And Thieves tweet could be taken as a Valentine's tweet as well, don't forget. That plagues the world. They literally Many just recited all the colors of the, the series are included. Plus, you can browse artwork and listen to music in the newly added museum. I didn't know you could get green roses, but Take apparently you can. Flight in Monster Hunter Stories, soaring onto Nintendo Switch this summer. It's the best wordplay to troll, right? <laughs> On a peculiar day, Yen Sid's mischievous mirror lured Mickey Mouse into his workshop. Finding the magic paintbrush, a curious Mickey creates a mess and uh -oh. becomes trapped in a magical wasteland inhabited by forgotten and rejected characters. The platforming adventure, Epic Mickey, returns in a faithful remake of the beloved classic. Explore this unusual I'm dimension. I'm actually excited for this. Using Isn't this the already magic available, brush though? to shape the world with paint I and paint I swear I've seen this game before. To become an epic hero. 
What's in this? Disney Epic Mickey Rebrushed launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Is this a sequel or just a remaster? I swear I've seen this game Next, before. Please take a look at this. It's a remake, okay. Shin Megami! I'm afraid Tokyo experienced its own peculiar occurrence while you were away. I'll be counting on you to gather more intel on the matter. I suspected to be traveling back and forth between Tokyo and the Netherworld. This place is definitely dangerous. And that's about all we know right now. Look out! Who are you? Now let's kill this thing. And so we have found it. The key to the resurrection. Handsome and Shadow Drop. This is where you can fight. You can just fly in and be a hero. I'll tell you what, love. You could have Handsome. Never have been dragged into this war. You're not alone. If you want revenge, we are okay with you taking that for MLB. Enter hey, Rob, I actually like this Pentiment. ravaged wasteland and experience an untold story on your adventure. I think I'm about halfway through it. Let's take a look at some more headlines. Get ready to unite and fight in these Nintendo Switch games. Fight in iconic battles from across the Star Wars galaxy in this collection of two classic games. Battlefront. Up to 64 players can strike back against no way. in massive online battles. This collection includes additional playable characters such as Kit Fisto and additional maps like Jabba's Palace. Plus, battle as your favorite heroes or villains in Hero Assault. Play as Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, and more on maps including Death Star and Naboo. Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection launches on Nintendo Switch March 14th. No Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Welcome to South Park. As the new kid. All right, you're on now, new kid. Join Cartman, Stan, and the rest of the gang to save the town in this co-op action game. Choose from a wide range uh, of is South pretty Park much honey, items and cosmetics to customize your character however you'd like. Once you're set, it's time for battle. Take on an avalanche of enemy factions in solo play or online co-op with up to three friends. Grab your gang and head into the fray in South Park Snow Day. Launching on Nintendo Switch March 26th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. It's a snow day, dude! Sharpen your steel for the latest entry in the Sword Art Online series. When the Ooh. virtual world goes haywire, the past and present collide. I really, I really need to get up, the, up to date with this anime. Alongside former adversaries and fallen allies, it's up to you to save the world. Experience a whole new single player story or take the battle online with up to 20 players in co op play. Sword Art Online Sword Art is supposed to be Daydream pretty good. Launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Break, build, and let's go! Gundam in Gundam Breaker 4. Unfortunately, the Gundam Choose Breaker series is trash. But base kits. Let's go! Combine and customize their parts to build your very own mobile suit model known as Gunpla. Then put your creation to the test in a variety of combat missions. By defeating enemies and acquiring new parts, you can equip more abilities to craft the, game the ultimate gunpla. <laughs> Plus, you can show off your builds and snap picks in the new diorama mode. Oh god, Prepare I will spend too much time when in Gundam that mode. Breaker 4 launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Let's get down to monkey business. This is still a thing? The newest entry in the Super Monkey Ball series rolls onto Nintendo Switch. How is this still a thing? Over 200 brand new stages await with optional motion controls. Using the new Spin Dash move, you can blast over obstacles. This is and so cool. I'm short happy Sega is still making this one. Have a ball with friends and family in four player local co op. 
and up to 16 players can battle online as they tilt their way to be the top banana. Be the first to the finish line in race mode. Full guys, let's go. Grab the falling bananas in Banana Hunt. Team up to take down robots in Robot Smash and more. Get ready to roll, tilt, dash, and party in one appealing adventure. When Super Monkey Ball Banana Rumble I love the fact that Nintendo, when Nintendo they do their Switch, direct, everything comes out in six months. Begin today on Nintendo it's so damn Shop. cool. By the way, don't forget to hit that like button, folks. Get ready for a good time. It's sort of liquid, sort of solid. And if you are new to the good. channel, hit that subscribe button. Stretch it, shape it, and use it to build strategic structures. In this physics-based puzzler, you can build towers, bridges, and even whatever this is. Your goal is to guide as much goo as possible into a vast global pipe distribution network. But where do the pipes lead? Certainly nowhere. Is anyone sinister. interested in this? Put your imagination to the I test have to ask, as you like, build, splash, where explode, did they get the... destroy, fly, and roll your goo to the goal. You'll encounter different types of goo balls with unique properties, including explosive goo, jelly goo, and more. Plus, exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version, you can build with up to three buds in local co-op play. World of Goo 2. Oh, you guys like this? As a console exclusive on Nintendo I'll Switch. I take it back. There's a game for everyone. Build a life transcending time. The game. Goo. Craft your story 1,000 years in the making in a brand new fantasy life game. This once thriving island in the seas of Berberia now stands deserted. Travel to the island's past to gather resources, then use them to restore the no, island. Let's in make the one. Present. Let's get one thing clear, right? When Nintendo You'll makes a remake, one of it's many okay. Roles it's good. It's fine. Lives. We only shit on it when PlayStation does. to collect ore. How about a magician to take down monsters, or even a carpenter to craft furniture? You can swap between these lives and many more as you rebuild the island. As you travel through time, you'll gradually uncover truths about your new island home. Additionally, up to I mean, one could argue can Helldivers is just a remake of uh, Starship Troopers, right? And set off to discover the secrets that lie in store. This life is yours to live in. Fantasy Life I, the girl who steals time. Launching on Nintendo Switch October 10. <laughs> It's time to hunt for, uh, trash? The world these days is dark and mean. Even the water tastes unclean. Need I remind you all how threatening the ocean is outside this reef? Scour the depths of a polluted undersea world in this Souls-like adventure. It's a Souls game, you see? If you can go get that treasure there, John, about, I'll gladly trade your shell for it. Protect yourself with whatever you can find, from cans to cardboard, during your hunt to reclaim your prized shell. Why would you go from a can to a cardboard? I, I, I've been working my butt off trying to get my old life back! But you'll run into a few crabby predators along Whole grain. the way. Grounded was announced. That treasure is as good as mine. Grounded coming Use April. Over 60 ability granting shells and harness powerful umami magic to take down enemies in frenetic deep sea combat. What other threats lie in the ocean depths? As they say, one crab's trash is another crab's treasure. Launching on Nintendo Switch April 25th. Other than that, it's just been these Nintendo Switch games. Nothing will have you really dashing, special. Dropping and drilling. Join a Penny game. and Yo-Yo in a brand new 3D platforming adventure from the team that brought you Sonic Mania. Dash, swing, ride, and master the cosmic string in over 40 levels across 11 vibrant worlds, all while outrunning a massive penguin army and a colorful cast of bosses. 
feast on power-ups to activate transformations, help out the denizens during your acrobatic escapades, and put your tricks to the test in a time attack mode. Hope you're ready to yo, because Penny's oh, a, Big Breakaway a few hit launches I, on Nintendo Switch in. today. Local two-player battles are coming as paid DLC to the fruit-matching phenomenon, Suica Game. Choose from three modes, original, time limit, and attack. Aim for a higher score than your opponent in original mode. Make split-second decisions against the clock in time limit mode. And overwhelm your opponent with bunches of fruit in attack mode. Plus, online multiplayer will be added to the DLC in the future. Get battling when this paid DLC for Suica Game drops onto Nintendo Switch today. A bundle of the game and DLC is also available today. Gear up for some thrilling drilling in the 2D action platformer, Pepper Grinder. Burrow through terrain. You missed a couple of decent ones, whole grain. Overrise enemies in your way. And ride on gnarly vehicles to recover your missing fortune. Pepper Grinder drills its way onto Nintendo Switch March 28th. A demo will be available today on Nintendo eShop. Giddy up for a fusion of solitaire and horse racing in this remastered version of Pocket Card Jockey. Take cards to create a sequence of numbers and build up power during a race. Check the positions of other horses, spend power to move around the course, and grab special cards to gain the upper hoof. Now, the one thing you've got to say in events to get new horses then breed them to raise no the next way, generation look, of ideal steeds there's you a version of sony everywhere against other players it's look up to the races in pocket card jockey right on launching on nintendo switch today hey i saw it i saw it i saw it i saw, it. I saw pentamon <laughs> I think it that might. almost wraps up this Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. But before we go, we have two more announcements to share. Oh, two more. First, please take a look at this. Coming to Nintendo Switch Online. Rare. Looks to be a collection of games from Rare. And These I remember games Lost are Corps. available today. You can play them with an active Nintendo Switch Online or Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership. Next is our last announcement. Please take a look. Hi-Fi Rush? Nope. Subnautica. <sighs> the 
This is Subnautica, right? Endless Ocean Luminous. Okay, everyone was wrong. So the two In games that were shown underwater world is, is Pentiment and to Grounded. In an all new Endless Ocean game. Welcome to the Veiled Sea. I mean, if it can run high fi uh, grounded, I'm sure it could run high fi This unexplored region changes with each dive, offering new things to discover. But just remember, I was the first one to call Up out to Pentiment. I was right. Best insider ever. Into the you heard it here first. Together. Share your discoveries with I was other totally divers. trolling when I said Pentiment, but I and still got a hole in a one. Friendly greeting while freely exploring the vast ocean. Oh shit, multiplayer. There are over 500 different species of marine life to encounter. I mean, it doesn't mean anything, whole grain. It could mean that they're still in development. To be extinct. Grounded and Pentiment were, easy, were much easier to pull. Hi-Fi Rush and Sea of Thieves is going to be a hell of a lot more difficult to pull. So they could be quite far what ahead. You, you know, we could be seeing journey. those two next year. Endless Ocean Luminous launches on Nintendo Switch May 2nd. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. We hope you're looking forward to exploring the vast ocean on Nintendo Switch. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. Thank you for watching. Well, what did you not think of uh, the presentation? Honestly, I think it was a lukewarm C, but with with the Xbox games, it's gone to a, a B plus, maybe a B minus. I think it's a B solid. Imagine having a con. Nope. Peggy 18. But yeah, that's it. That's the presentation. Uh, it wasn't as uh, mind blowing as I thought it'd be, honestly. It had me scared cancelling it last minute for a second. Mickey is nostalgic. My wallet is safe. The pen showcase had Mother Free, Guitar Learning Game, and Shin Chan. Epic Mickey. Peak is back. Ender Lilies was nice. I don't know. I think this Nintendo uh, showcase was like a B minus for me. I always say so. Uh, Elden Ring. Let's have a look. Uh, what time is it? Alright, I've still got like 20 minutes. i got 20 minutes. I think this is it. What time is it? It's in four minutes, so we've got time to check it out, boys. We're gonna do this. Let's go. Look, let's be real, right? No matter what Nintendo showed today, it was going to get overshadowed by Elden Ring. The shadow of Erdtree would have just killed everything. Maybe I should play Elden Ring on stream sometime. Even though I don't like it. Uh, Ice Cold, it was Grounded and Pentiment. Grounded and Pentiment were the two games that were showcased coming pretty much today in uh, April. I mean, Pentiment just went by as a footnote. <laughs> uh, that, that, 
you know, they did Pentiment dirty. All I'm saying, they did Pentiment dirty. It deserved better than a footnote. Yeah, see, Phil, this is what they think of your games. A footnote. You should just keep them on the Xbox. So, are we excited for Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earth Tree? The new Elden Ring trailer, you want to come check it out? It starts in 60 seconds. I'm sick of Soul Games. We get a new one every month. Yeah, but none is like the Elden Ring. Look, all I want, all I want is for... Her her We're waiting. It starts in 60 seconds. All I want is the new uh, Horizon... Z uh, collectors, you know, the ultimate complete edition that's launching to launch at the same time as Elden Ring for a bit of deja vu. I haven't lived in 60 seconds yet. Oh my God. Because uh, people were saying that Elden, Ri Elden Ring did not hurt um, the sales of Horizon. Does anyone actually believe that? Even any PlayStation fan in here, does anyone actually believe? The Elden Ring did not hurt the sales. Oh, God. oh my God. It's beginning. Just not it's taking its sweet time. I mean, their sales were cannibalized. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> Come on, where's the premiere? Press play. Elden Ring killed Horizon's hype. Yep, it did. I'm about to kill Elden Ring. Oh my god. It's gonna begin shortly. Wait, Look, it says I'm, right there. I could have gone to Turkey and came back by now. You are a turkey. Go away. So it starts at 2.30. What's time? It's got one minute. That's why they made 60 seconds. They lied. They lost money now. It should be right now. I, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's got five seconds. Five seconds or 60 seconds? It's got another 49 seconds. <laughs> what? Come closer to the mic so they can hear you too. Because you're a massive Elden fan. Hey, I'm joined by uh, Mini Mini Chaos at the moment. Where's that, big mama? I'm streaming here. I really can't hear you. You've got 19 seconds to say something before I zone you up. Let's go. What? <laughs> no way.
This was gold. This was brilliant, man. This was sheer brilliance. Oh, man. This is just trouble. What's the point of doing this? Like, literally, what is the point? I'll probably stick around, but I'll be multitasking. Play some Gollum while we wait. Don't be daft. What is it with you guys and Gollum? But man, this is, this is crazy. I guess the person that made this is maidenless. They needed half an hour to go and find their maiden. How do you make people wait for another 30 minutes? You've already got 230,000 people in here. Wow, they just lost 13,000 people just like that. My God. That's, that's really, really awful, man. Let's see, uh, let's see what Twitter is saying about the Nintendo Direct. These games stood out to me the most, never heard of them, but definitely will be checking them out. Grounded. Yeah, right, you've never heard of it. Pentiment. <laughs> Pentiment and Grounded coming to the Switch. It's great for the five people that will buy them. It can be very contradictory if your strategy does not hinge on people going all digital. They wouldn't... Uh, whatever. So Phil Spencer did announce that physicals are not going away. And that it looks like their next generation console will still support physicals. So, their next generation console is not all digital. Just so you know, the next generation console looks like it will not be an all digital console. Phil came out saying that it is basically a thing. This guy is capping. Is this what he's doing on Grounded and Pentiment? When they're losing? Okay. Okay. Monster Hunter Storage is back coming to Nintendo Switch, PC, and PS4. It is skipping Xbox again. Hey, Josh. I'm doing good. Thanks, yourself.
Wow. Look at that from Icon Era. Helldivers 2 proves Indiana Jones game being first person is a lazy attempt and no real effort put in. That's some salt right there, man. That is some salt right there. That's really disrespectful to the development team. Hey, Jacob, how's it going? That's some real disrespect to the development team. The idiots gave this a nine. Dishonest mofos kill me. If, the, if this is the experience every time you play, you try to play, it's not a nine. Says when we wish meal games. That's that's ridiculous. Damn, three hundred thousand followers, and I hear the game is bland. Grounded on Nintendo Switch makes perfect sense. I said it was going to be on Nintendo Switch. Now I think I thought Sea of Thieves would be there too. To be fair. But um, I wonder if Sea of Thieves just takes more development time. Josh, take your time, my dude. We're always here. Make sure you heal yourself first. You get well. You know, we will always be here. Your health is first and foremost. Always, my dude. Microsoft Gaming Chief Phil Spencer is upbeat about his vast Xbox team's future, but he calls, but he also tells Gamefile he is concerned about stagnation in the business and wary of trying to squeeze too much money out of existing players. It sounds cheesy, but I've never been more bullish about where we are, Spencer told me during an interview last week. He was talking about Xbox's gaming business ahead of an announcement that the company will bring four of its exclusive games to rival consoles ahead of a tease and its next about its next gen console. That's right. Hellblade 2 is digital only, right? So that should be thing. Okay, with Helldivers 2 out and an absolute beast, what crossover do you want to see? I don't see the Order 1886 working in that world. I don't see it. I don't see it, folks. I don't see it. Hey, I'm not saying Order was a bad game. I'm just saying I don't see it in the Helldivers universe. I mean, Helldivers could be an absolute beast if you could ever log in. If you could ever log in, it's an absolute beast. If you could. The problem is, no one could log in. Ah, right. The Final Fantasy XIV trailer. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Uh, Xbox released a trailer, right? Time to uh, get demonetized. Oh, Sandland is uh, not too far away either. April 26th. I'm looking forward to this. That's the controller to control your Xbox. Fortnite, I guess maybe FFXIV. Are you not sure that there's a 14 Xbox trailer? That's Dawn Trail. Did someone say... Now, that's why you get a PC to play games like Final Fantasy XIV. Now, 
You ain't ever gonna beat PC when it comes to MMOs. Don't even try that. Don't even go there. Uh, Jay, Final Fantasy XIV, the first expansion, is a little slow. Um, because they pretty much grabbed what they could from 1.0. They took out a lot of the fluff over the years. It really gets a lot better towards the end of the first expansion. And then once you get to Heaven's Ward, it blows wide open. So if you are interested in like a really good story, I'd recommend playing Is on the Xbox channel. <laughs> Final Fantasy fourteen in one minute, six hours ago. That's a lot of Final Fantasy fourteen videos. Starter guide. Meet your fate. Your adventure begins. Hey, I actually know the person that made these videos. That's fun. All right, let's check this one out. <laughs> to me, Final Fantasy XIV has one of the best stories ever in any Final Fantasy. <clears throat> But it does have like a 10 year story, right? An evolving world. An nice, unforgettable story. Whether solo or with friends, play your way. The possibilities are endless in Final Fantasy XIV Online. You are the hero of this story. Customize your own unique character. Embark on a spectacular adventure. Immerse yourself in a story with incredible characters and fight to defend the realm. Play a variety of classic jobs from the Final Fantasy series, each with a unique gameplay style. Party up with friends to face powerful foes. Good or call upon NPC allies to fight by your side. Do battle in intense player versus player PvP. combat. Crystal and discover line. all the world has to offer. Crafting. There are countless ways to enjoy the Golden realm of the Orsa. So join millions of adventurers and find out for yourself. Experience a critically Lim acclaimed Salam adventure. Inside. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV was available on PC well before it was on PlayStation. What are you on about? Okay, mm hmm Oh, love those ears. Oh, a Makote, huh? You bet. Now to pick my class. I love the look of the gladiator. It's just a shame I'll never learn how to be an archer. Well, that's the beauty of Final Fantasy XIV Online. Your character can actually play every class in the game. Classes are split into three roles. Tanks, who hold the enemy's attention and soak up their attacks. There are damage dealing, or DPS classes who take down enemies as quickly as possible, and healers who, well, heal the party. You choose your starting class now, but once you reach level 10, you can unlock and change to other classes whenever you like. Also, your character's gender, race, patron deity, or date of birth won't limit any major aspects of your gameplay, and you'll even have the option to change your appearance later in the game. So don't worry too much and just create a character that you like. <sighs> that is amazing. I'm going to start as an archer. No, Arcanist. Uh, no, Lancer. Ah, an enemy. Uh, gladiator sounds great. Oh, can't wait to try the others later. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, no big deal. Got 12 XP. You can earn much more experience while enjoying the story. Let me show you how it's done. If you want to succeed, learn to read the map. Fewer random enemies, more main scenario quests or MSQs. 
These are the quests you follow to experience the main story. By completing them, you'll earn some fantastic rewards and level up much faster. You'll also have the option to follow loads of side quests. These won't impact your main story, there but they will help you explore the world quests. and earn gil, experience, and other rewards. Ah, oh, I'd love to check out my first MSQ. This Great. won't be coming then to Game Pass. Then let's get you to the Adventurer's Guild. That's Mamodi. See the meteor icon above her head? That's how you know you should talk to her for your MSQ objective, which will be updated in your main I'm scenario much, guide uh, as you Reddit, progress we here watch on Nintendo the Direct. Keep a lookout for those and, icons, uh, as well as other quest types. Grounded and Pentiment and you can announced. always access your journal to keep track of the quests you but have accepted else. and completed. Right, MSQ, earn great XP. Got it. Max level, here I come! <coughs> the map. Oh, uh, For now, there the is map. nothing that announced for PlayStation 5. Useful. Nothing announced for PlayStation 5 just yet. PlayStation has a showcase coming up soon, though, right? If I'm not mistaken. But yeah, if you like MMOs, 14 is really good. Yeah, Hi-Fi Rush wasn't announced, surprisingly. I'm going to really be stretching my time here. I'm supposed to be done right now, so... Uh... I'm going to kind of be multitasking here, working at the same time while reading chat and doing what I need to do. So do bear with me, folks, because I want to check out this Elden Ring uh, trailer with you all before I finish the stream. Uh, the direct was mid, mid to low. It had... um. Grounded and Pentiment in there, but the rest was... They had a couple of decent games in there. Some remakes. But overall, nothing special. But yeah, right now... This is free to play. So you can pretty much jump in. Don't buy anything right now until, uh, even if it's available until Dawn Trail comes out, because you'll get a bit of a discount. But check it out, it's free to play. They basically got the games J Gaming that is not selling Xbox, is not pushing Game Pass, and no one's really playing. I hate to say it about Hi-Fi Rush because Hi-Fi Rush is a good game, but no one is playing it. You know, that them's are the them's are the facts, right? No one is playing it. But hey, if it's going to get like millions of sales on another platform because they're starving for good games, it's a win-win situation. Uh, OL roadmap. Jade, this game should have been on uh, eight years ago, but it was Phil Spencer's fault that it wasn't. Do keep that in mind. Square Enix had nothing to do with this game not being on Xbox. The reason why this game wasn't on Xbox was 100% Phil Spencer's fault. Like I said, I am still working, so I'm going to kind of work away, multitask, so I don't get in trouble while we uh, wait for the Elden Ring stream. Uh, Jay Gaming, I didn't say he lied. 
At what point did I say he lied? And And you know, people often forget this, right? Uh, FTC, Microsoft, uh, games. Let's try Starfield. Where is it? Should be here somewhere. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, let's show games exclusive, maybe? Why can I not find what I'm looking for? Never used to be this difficult. Uh, so it should be somewhere here. Man, normally I find it in one go. Psychonauts uh, Fallout 76. There we go. So, people, oh, God, for God's sake, open image. Look, I just want people often forget about this, but this was what was announced during the FTC. Games like Call of Duty, Minecraft, were always going to be mass market audiences. They're going to be multiplayer. Games like Psychonauts, Fallout 76, Pentiment, Grounded, Hi-Fi Rush, full within these brackets, same as CFEs. They were, you know, they fit on the left or the right. So they're fair game. Games like Starfield, Redfield, Redfall, sorry, Half, uh, Halo, uh, Gears, they fall into the center. So they don't go anywhere. Oh, Sanchez, you seen my video, right? You seen my video with receipts, right? You seen how Engadget was lying, right? You see how it was all fake, right? What they said. They made it up. And Icon Era lapped it up like, like the lemons that they are. Hopefully no one is looking for me. Nope. I'm good there, I'm good there, no one's looking for me, so I'm still good, I'm still good chat. But yeah, people forget about this, right? So when you're looking at uh, Grounded, it kind of falls on the right-hand side. When you're looking at Sea of Thieves, it falls on this right-hand side, or maybe even to the left-hand side, I'm not really sure. Grounded and Sea of Thieves, I guess, well, Grounded for sure will fall here. Sea of Thieves could definitely fall here, but has a potential to fall here. But Hi-Fi Rush and Pentiment, definitely over here. But these major titles, none of them have been announced to go to any platform whatsoever. So, you know, Phil has delivered what he said. He's not lying.
I mean, it's done better than the Xbox One. So, that's something. And if they're releasing a handheld version of the Xbox, which everything is indicating that they will, if there was ever a chance for them to break into the Japanese market, that's it. The, the handheld console is going to be their only real ticket to it. Three hundred and sixty thousand people watching a timer screen. Do you think Halo Infinite should be multiplat? I feel like it could get a ton of life in the PlayStation Five, but it'll pos a hundred percent no, Jay. Halo Infinite should uh, is to remain exclusive on Xbox forever. Uh, Scalebound had other problems, right? Even uh, Platinum said that there was way too many issues with that game. And they took full responsibility for it as well. Blue Dragon was alright, but it was really basic. Like, really, really basic. Even Toriyama's um, artwork wasn't enough for that. Lost Odyssey was good, and that sold well in Japan. But like I said, the handheld console will be the kicker. If that doesn't do well in Japan for Xbox, I don't see anything doing well. That's really their only gateway. Because the you know the Asian market loves their handhelds. And if they price it right and they get it right, then that is going to do well. Exactly, May and that's what I'm saying. That is really the only way they're going to do it. The Series S sold okay over there, in my opinion, based on like the Xbox One sales. But the handheld console is where it is, and that's pretty much why they're going down that route. Which is why I don't believe, you know, uh, what Powerboss was saying yesterday, it being basically a PC. I don't believe that for a split second. Um, it's going to be a portable Xbox console. I could be wrong, but it, it doesn't make sense to be a portable PC because you've got the ROG Ally and the Steam Deck. Why would you just add more to the market? You've got the Lenovo G, you've got the MSI Claw, and four, three, two, one. Peggy 16. Pure and radiant. He wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. There is nothing more terrifying. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. Blood of your fellows. They are truly faithful. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war. What the? Mother, wouldst thou truly lordship sanction in one so bereft of life? A 
presume you, too, are keen to know. Just what kind Mikola is doing here. Release date, June 21st, June 21st, everything's coming June. <laughs> Oh yeah, they wanted to make sure everyone was there. Uh, when is Horizon Collector's Edition releasing? Oh, Complete Edition. Twenty first of March. Oh, ho, ho, ho. they made sure <laughs> they don't want to do that again. Uh, all right, yeah, that's it. That's it, folks. I'm gonna have to head off. Got some work to do. Thanks so much for stopping by. It's been awesome, and I'll catch up with you all tomorrow. Take it easy, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, folks. Bye.